matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, presenting the challenger, Mountain. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's different, different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. 
His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage, and might as well use it. Great punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Takedown defense holds up. Nice head kick. And there comes the separation now. Wow. Able to check that kick as well. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, collar tie. What a punch. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Straight right, he misses. Nice leg kick. Now, and both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. What a body kick. All right, he engages in the right there. Beautiful transition. Just missed with the leg kick. Beautiful kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, and there's... Oh. Oh. The biggest shot that has landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Relative ease there. Found the target with that left hand. Blocks that strike. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Nice straight punch. Just a slip there. And they separate. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round here. Oh, he lands another.
another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh! Unable to connect it. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Went for the inside leg kick. Ooh, big shot land. Ooh, head kick land. He's hurt. He's... Choice strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice. Nice uppercut by the champion. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, nice job by the The right hand just misses. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And they separate. He blocks the punch. Left hand punch in the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Ball oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Nice punch, Lynn. Nice leg kick, Lynn. Choice strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, man, good stick to the body. Visibly limping here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Can't take many of those. You better check. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. What a right hand by this young man. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing. That just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Switching stance. Oh, here. oh, oh! Oh, it's actually working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Round number two. Where is 
Right, 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 right. Great job last round. We had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, I want you to put the pressure up. Get right in his face. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Are right, you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big leg kick lands. Just misses with the straight right. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He did see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw a knee. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. To stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape. This very, very dangerous position. Both fighters get up now. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That was the chin. Nice strike. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Come on, keep moving, keep moving your All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, nice. Oh, he finally strikes to the body. This is I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Nice. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beats a big knee. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, affected <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I, know I think it's so, so good. But there's a guy. I love the way you talk. 
but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Nice kick. They say the straight students are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he got a bad! Close guard. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Final seconds. Here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, so somehow, some way, we will fight onward. There was a big liver shot there that buckled his opponent. DC, here's your replay. Nothing is worse. Nothing is worse than taking one of those shots right to the liver. It shuts everything down. You got to be so tough to stay standing after you take a strike like that. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary. How about that strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low, and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that kind of thing. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent, and you that is how you strike it, folks. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters try to get a more dominant position. Checks that leg. He comes knee. through the big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh! Misses with the left hook. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any take. Big knee. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got it. This is a entertaining. Big knee to the body. <laughs> nice punch land on the top. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by the Korean Super Bowl. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And they separate. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch oh! by this young man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. 
He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta is calling stop for this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. The celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion. And still, after the knockout victory here tonight, 